Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. I have a project that I wanted to share with you. It's for a swap that I'm in. It's an altered mason jar, and this is the first time I've ever altered a mason jar. So I wanted to share that with you. Here's the top of the jar. Um, so I wanted to show you that. In the paper collection that I used is a color box collection that a lot of us I know picked up a while ago from Joann's. It's called Flea Market by Colorbach. And it has it's a wonderful kind of shabby chic country paper collection, so I thought it would go wonderful with this project. So there was the top. Um, one of the specialty papers pads that I picked up had um, like punch outs and stuff. So this was a circle punch out. I just added some stickles, a little um, flower from Recollections, added some bling and some stickles. So I'm gonna pan down so you could see the front of the jar. And when I first started doing this swap, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So I was on the hunt for the base, which is a candle, a glass candle stick, if you could see that up and under there. And I used some E6000, and I attached it to the base of the jar right there. And it worked out wonderfully. I thought it, like I said, the first when I first um, joined the swap, that I knew that this is what I wanted to try because I'd never use the E6000. I've seen lots of people make some really cool projects and this I wanted um, to do that with the jar so I looked in some of the stores, Walmart, Target, and I went to a bunch of yard sales and I think AC Moore and Michaels sell these exact same thing these um, little, they're just little glass ones and I think they're, well the stores range anywhere from $2.99 to $3.99 dollar store. I didn't check the dollar store. They probably have a version of this as well. But I locked up and picked a couple of them up for 50 cents at a yard sale last weekend. So I scored on that. So for the jar, I went ahead and purchased one at AC Moore with a 50% off coupon. The regular price is $1.99. And I went ahead and bought it because it was a larger one. And with the scale of the candle stick that I um, had picked up, it looked better with the larger jar and I went ahead and got the wide mouth jar which is a larger opening at the top so that I could put the goodies in there and they seem to fit a little bit better so here is my altered jar and again the paper collection I know a lot of you guys picked this up it's by Colorbach and it's called flea market there's the name right there and as you can see it's very shabby chic worked great with um, what I had envisioned for this collection and on the front, I used some Tim Holtz um, little charms, a bunch of different Prima flowers, some Recollections flowers. Just made a little cluster. And the sentiment is a sticker from the collection, one of the coordinating sticker packs. And it says, a true friend is one soul in two bodies, which I thought was a really nice quote by Aristotle. And I layered some paper from the collection there, and then another paper I punched with the Martha Stewart punch to make a little lacy border and then this is a border strip from the paper collection it's like a ruler and I layered a couple layers of lace this is a little cream lace this is a white lace from Hobby Lobby and then this is some um, cream trim from I picked it up at a, th a thrift store I believe a long time ago and I'm running low my stash is getting low so I've seen it at Joanne so I need to pick up some more so for the front, like I said, I used the little sticker, added some stickles, and then basically just pulled out a bunch of different things. This is a flower that I picked, um, that Janelle had sent me, and it's a ribbon trim that she had sent me. So thanks, Janelle. It worked out great for this project. And this is a little button from my stash. I just glued that in. So a bunch of different flowers, some little crocheted flowers. I think these are from, like, the dollar spot at Michael's. Some more different flowers. I think this is a... Uh, Prima flower, some more Recollections flowers. This is a, a clear, it's kind of a thick um, uh, sticker from the collection. And then for this little heart, I just hand cut from the, cord, the corrugated cards from Recollections at Michael's and just um, distressed it with some paint and some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And that worked out really cute. I love that. And then I hung a little charm, Tim Holtz charm. And then this little uh, burlap ribbon came from my friend Jeanette. Thanks, Jeanette, who gave that to me last year. Or maybe the year, maybe this 
past January, I'm not sure. She gave it to me in a goodie bag as a at a crop. And I think this is a little recollections, little um, embellishments, some more flowers, more of the trim that I've tucked in. I mean the burlap, a bunch of different flowers. I think that's a prima flower, some um, pearl trim that I just kind of tucked and glued and um, kind of just tucked it in. Kind of like when you make a flower arrangement, you just kind of tuck and um, put things where they belong. Um, it's a bunch of different flowers. And the bling that I use is actually a um, Recollections um, bling that I just cut apart. It had some little um, resin roses and some rhinestones and pearls, and I thought it looked great with this. I just made a little homemade sign for the back. So I'm just spinning around. Another little um, batch of flowers there. And it again, I tucked some little piece of the trim pearl trim. So there is my altered mason jar and for the top I painted, I sanded it and I painted it with white and I just kind of dabbed it on because it's got a rough finish to it. I wanted it to look old and chabby. And then um, I mixed cream and off-white paint, um, some making memories paint that I had in my stash. And then I um, took some of the Tim Holtz Distress ink and just kind of rubbed around it just to make it look a little more worn and that is my altered mason jar it was a lot of fun to make um, like I said I'd never made one of these so it turned out exactly like I had envisioned so I thought it I hope she likes it so I'm gonna open up and share with you what I tucked on the inside there's the top so I'll peek inside so there's how I have it um, I had picked up a bunch of doilies at the same, one of the yard sales I'd gone to last week. So I just wrapped a bunch of um, pearl trim and just kind of put it together with one of these little music note um, paper clips that I had. So I just made that little thing. And then inside I just a um, bunch of different loose flowers. And then I got some little baby spools. So I put some little twine in there. A little flower. I just did a bunch of loose things, so it's just like a little treasure trove of different things that she can use. I took um, a little wood clothespin and added some twine. And there's some thicker twine. Um, my dad um, has, well, had a nursery and florist business all my life, and he recently um, sold it, and he gave me a lot of supplies from his nursery so I lucked up and got a bunch of twines and stuff and it really looks pretty on some shabby chic projects. So there's some more flowers. What else we have in here? I'm just going to peek inside so you guys can see. There's some, I just took some lace and wrapped it around and just put it together with a little clothespin. Some more flowers. These are recollections flowers. I took some, um, tool. This is some shiny pink tool and just tied a little um, trim around it. So I gave it in pink and then this white. Just tied it with some ribbon. Let's see what else is in there. I did put some, um, I might have to dump it out so you guys can see. Just a whole bunch of stuff I tucked in there. A bunch of flowers. So she's going to have a, um, a lot of little goodies to use. There's some yellow twine. Some green twine and then I took some of these little baby spools that I had in my stash and I took washi tape and just gave her a nice little sample of a bunch of different washies. A lot of them are recollections. I think this one's from AC Moore. And I think both of these are recollections. Some more flowers in there. Hopefully the rest of it um, that you guys stuck down in there. I um, gave her a bunch of different Flowers. I think I picked those up at AC Moore in the wedding section. And here's a white set. Oops. And let's see what else is in there. Oh, I put a doily at the bottom. The one that I picked up at the yard sale. I looked up at the yard sale and picked up a whole bunch of doilies. And they had them in bundles. And they were like 15 or 20 cents for a bundle. So I bought all that they had. So I tucked one down in there. And you can see a bunch of different flowers. So that is... All the goodies that I have stuffed in the mason jar. I'm sorry, I'm on my phone. 
So we'll put those aside. And with our swap, we are also um, doing a, a snap binder page. So I used the same paper collection. And this is the first page. I, I made a little pocket page. And put some, just a bunch of different flowers that I layered. Same paper collection, made the same kind of heart. And made a tag and some little journaling spots for my stash. I think this is a Making Memories journaling um, tag. And then I made a little mat so she could add some pictures. And then on the back side, I made two large mats where she can add some pictures. And I made them little pockets. So she has two little tags that she can journal or add pictures to. So that is the journal. There's the other journal. It's hard to do one-handed. So there's the page. There's the other tag. And that is the page that she'll be able to put in her little snap binder. And that's my swap. Jen, I hope you like it. I'm going to post this video once I think you've received it so that you can't have a sneak peek. But that is my altered mason jar. Hope you guys like it. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to use a lot of different things from your stash, depending on the paper collection that you use, because like um, this particular paper collection, I was able to mix and match the colors and different things. So I think it turned out wonderful, and I can't wait to make another one. I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for stopping by, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!